far. I can't drive you wherever you need to go. Okay, we are live. Uh -uh. On me? On yeah. you. On me. <laughs> <laughs> Just we should have practiced the kid and play. <laughs> Give it a minute for... Maybe we're live. Oh. oh, yep. There I am. Woo! Oh. And we are landscape. So we're checking on... Oh, yeah. Oh, that's me dancing. Okay, that's great. I'm good. <laughs> were you good? Or do you give yourself the thumbs down? I'll, I'll give you a seven and a half out of ten. Right on. Hi, Deb. Hi, Deb. Daniel says he has that shirt. Oh, snap. Woo! Best shirt ever. Hi, Amy. All tigers should wear sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> All cool cats and kittens wear sunglasses. Hi, everyone. Give you guys a minute to join. Afton is driving us up to the front, so... Vacation rotation, and Miss Jasmine is laying down over there. She's taking up all the space up there. Right. Tiger Lake. <laughs> Lots of birds. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Big Cat Rescue here in Tampa, Florida. I'm Amanda. And I'm Kristen. And we're going to be taking you on a walkabout. We're going through all the different sections for the first couple of lives. So two weeks ago, we did the front section. This time we're doing center. Uh, Big Cat Rescue is divided up into four sections. So right before all of it changes, we're gonna go see what is center. <laughs> center little cats. We just gotta get up to the front and get our stuff real quick. Enjoy the view as we drive up to the front. And if it's bumpy, you can blame Afton. <laughs> Say hi to Michael. Hi, Michael. <laughs> hi, Michael. Michael's Hello. looking for his hat. Hi, Bree. Oh, hi, Bree. Oh, no, she only said hi to Amanda. Never mind. Hi, Bree. <laughs> there you are. Thank, Thank you. you for the ride. You're welcome. Okay. We're going to get the pineapple to Yukari. So, oh, we didn't get our sickles. So this is our enrichment cabin. We got one little cat out here ready for some enrichment. That's Shiloh. Hey, uh, we'll be hi, out to us. him first. Okay, you guys get in there. We got another bucket. I know. Shiloh is ready for some enrichment. out there strong arming us for a sickle. Hey, give me a sickle. <laughs> <laughs> people in there. Okay, hi Bree. Once again, I'll say hi again. 
All right. We get our we are live. Yeah. All right. Okay, guys. Thank you. <laughs> okay. We are going this way to Shiloh is our first little cat in center littles. Shiloh's a bobcat. And he is ready. Amanda's going to give him a blood sickle. He is always ready for some sickles. Yeah. Yeah. You make some of the cutest noises, don't you? Bit. So as you can see from the beginning of the live, Shiloh's got one of the best views in the sanctuary because he can see the enrichment barn and he can see everyone in there getting the sickles and he made sure that you notice him. That way he is most likely to get a sickle. <laughs> You're very smart, bud. He is. And then it's a nice warm day today, probably around 80, 80 something maybe. So we have a lot of sickles to give out, along with some Valentine's Day themed enrichment made by our lovely enrichment committee. They did an awesome job. I was happy when I saw that the weather was going to be warmer this week because <laughs> nobody wanted their sickles two weeks ago. Yeah, hopefully we get more participation today since it's warmer. We're off to a good start, Shiloh. Ooh, a worm just dropped on my hand. <laughs> ah! oh, do you want me to? <laughs> no. <laughs> just dropped out of the tree Ooh. onto my hand. Oh, he's still on me. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good sickle. Austin, we will be seeing some servals. We have a lot of servals in center section, so. We have a few bobcats first and then lots of servals. You got good taste, Austin. They're my favorite too. All right. He's so happy. <laughs> He's so cute. And he makes some of the cutest little meows, which you guys heard at the beginning. He usually does that in the morning before breakfast too. It's always funny seeing, because Shiloh is one of the bigger bobcats that we have here on property. It's probably between him and Max that are the biggest. and he makes some of the cutest high-pitched noises. It doesn't sound like that voice should come out of that body. <laughs> right. All right. Man, he's almost done with that thing. All right, Shiloh. We're going to move on. He's like, it's melting because it's hot out. <laughs> I know. Do you want to just yeah. walk this way? All right. So Shiloh's next door neighbor is Filmo, who is also a bobcat and he usually oh i see him he's up on his platform he usually loves to hang out up high in his tree but here he is on his platform so that's cool Staying nice and high. at least he's not in his den so you guys can see him Hopefully, if I can get the stabilizer to act right. There we go. Hi, Filmo. What's going on? Hi, handsome. Oh, the zoom doesn't always want to work for me. 
Oh, there we go. There we go. What's up, buddy? That little tail. <laughs> <laughs> Just chilling up on the platform. Yeah. Trying to be as still as possible, but that tail's giving them away. Right? Aww. Do we want to toss him something? Yeah, we could give him a little spice bag. Yeah. He can play with it later if he wants to. Do you guys want to see the all these cute little got little hearts little bag with a heart on it? He's got some spice in there. Hey, Stella. Just so you know, this is for later. Enjoy. So you can play with that later, buddy. I'm glad you were out so everybody could see you for a minute at least. Okay. All right, Bill. Oh, I see our next. Which see. way? Should we walk this way or that way? Let's go back okay. Um, yeah, we know Frankie's going to want. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Frankie will participate for sure. Frankie has been loving his addition onto the enclosure because when Gilligan moved, he received Gilligan's part of the enclosure, and Frankie uses all of it. Yeah, so Frankie has his own, his original section, sections, and then he also now has access to Gilligan's old sections. So he has a really big enclosure, and there he is, ready for a sickle, which, is there a we'll go over here? Yeah. I On think you'll follow us. There he goes. There we go. Frankie also has a lot of cute little meows and woo! Whoa, whoa! <laughs> I can't even keep up with you. Hey! I move so fast. Frankie, aka Frank the Tank. There he is. There it is. Hi. Amanda's gonna get you a sickle. Wait, where are you going? <laughs> Hi. It was stuck to the bottom. Whoop. Ooh, I wonder if I move over here. Try and get a better shot for you guys. There we go. Oh. Oh yeah, that's good. Oop. Another blood sickle for Frankie. Earlier, I was talking about how the sanctuary is divided up into four sections. Um, so there's front and center are the two sections that what we call small cat cleaners can clean. So you've got a volunteer here for two months working on projects and getting to know how things work around here, letting us get to know you before you can start to even train with the, the cats just because they're predators and as we saw with Nabisco, they can be handsy and grabby and try to try to swat at you. So uh, eventually after people do their two months working on projects and getting to know how things run around here, then you can start training on cleaning the little cats. 
which then you'd be able to work in the front and center sections and take care of cats like Frankie. Oh, he's biting into it. Yeah, the blood sickles are made with blood from the red meat that we would feed out to the cats. And so it's blood and water and then frozen so the cats can get some hydration, cool off a little. And we make blood sickles, we make fish sickles, chicken sickles, all kinds of sickles. Frankie's figuring if he can chew this real quick, maybe we'll forget that we even gave him one <laughs> and hand him a second. That better just be wind. I think it is. Yeah, we don't need rain right now. <laughs> Oh, Frankie, you're so cute. So good. You picked out some good sickles today. You're enjoying them. Aww. Kathy, we have, I think we have made catnip sickles before, haven't we? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's not a one of the normal ones that we make, but we have made them before. And the cats do enjoy them too. Ooh. All right, Frankie. I'm going to move on to our next cat. We have oh. a lot of little cats in this section, so got to make sure we get to all of them. Let me get the door for you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Who's made the call of the wild this week? Great question. <laughs> How do we make the call of the wild? All you have to do is text CATS to 52886 and... What you'll do is it will give you a sheet, uh, you'll fill out your information and then it will automatically dial your representatives. All you have to do is hit star to be transferred to the next one and just say, please ask your boss to uh, be a co-sponsor for the Big Hat Public Safety Act. Ooh, she's up. Oh, we're looking for Smalls real quick. Where is she? Up in the back. I feel ah. like we should go around the back. Please ask your boss to co-sponsor the Big Cat Public Safety Act. And if you call today, you won't even have to talk to a human. <laughs> Just leave voicemails really quick, really easy, and really helpful. It takes about five minutes to do, and it's a completely free way to help these cats. It's the most important thing you can do, one of the most important things. And thank you to everyone that has made the call. I saw Daniel said he did. Yeah. Oh, hi, Smalls. Hi. Smalls has this awesome, like... Jungle chair. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what to call it. He's got all kinds of different platforms. She loves laying up at the top with the tree. Ooh, she right. wanted a... Sure. I can give her a spice bag. A little, with a little heart. You want that? Oh. I can hear her purring. I don't know if you guys can hear that at all. Hi. Okay. That's yours. <laughs> well, you got a spice bag over there. There you go. Oh, yeah. 
Smalls love enrichment. Oh, look at that belly. And thank you, Bree. I saw you said hi to my mom. So I'm guessing she's watching. Hi, mom. Now, mom, say hi to Bree. Hi, mom. Oh, Smalls, you're killing it today. This is adorable. <laughs> oh, man. Break the internet. Thank you to anyone who's sharing this and liking it. And anyone who loves our cats. Oh, hi, MJ. Hi, MJ. I mean, could you be any cuter? <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> she is so precious. You're right, Liz. She is a champion at breaking the internet. Woo. Stabilizer is going a little weird. Oh, look at that face. Hi, Becky. Hi, Becky. Mama Becky's in the house. That's right. Hi, Mama Becky. We're going to uh, go and see Des later. Oh, Smalls. Hey, look this way. <laughs> oh, we got a profile, guys. Yeah, you're right, Jackie. Zoomies probably will be coming next. That's what I'm waiting for her to get up and, like, take off. But, all right. Smalls, have fun annihilating that bag, okay? <laughs> all right. Bye, lady. All right. Enjoy. Hey, that was a success. I should make you walk in front. That way we've got your back to at least look at. That's really so I don't trip. She'll trip first. <laughs> <laughs> Good, thank you. So our next cat is going to be Cricket Serval. We're taking you guys the back way. Uh oh. They do drink a lot of water. We make sure that part of cleaning every day we go and we make sure that they have fresh water. Um, we'll also monitor if somebody's water bowl is dry from the night before. Uh, that's something we'll go ahead and log just because we want to make sure that, 
It's not an indicator of any issues. What do you want? You want a sickle or you want a bag? Sickle? Maybe? Ooh. Yeah, that's frozen. But especially during the, the warmer months down here, we always make, well, we, oh, sorry. we always make sure that they have fresh water all the time, but um, especially on warmer days, like Kristen had said, it's around probably 80 degrees today. We'll make sure we go out and give sickles and uh, uh, just that they have a way to get extra water and hydration, especially when it's 90 degrees out. That's very important. She's not impressed. <laughs> not interested. <laughs> that can stay there. <laughs> and you can see how she has like stripes, spots, servals are sometimes called a cat of spare parts. They have long legs, they have small heads. Some have shorter and some have a little longer tails. I'm gonna go over to the other side just to get her face. Because I don't think she's turning back around. <laughs> and thank you for everybody helping out in the comments. The, uh, the comments do go by pretty fast on here. So we've got moderators to help everybody out. Explain what they're seeing. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. And servals are native to Africa, so they should not be in this country at all. Um, a lot of a lot of our servals were former pets and don't make good pets, so they ended up here. Uh, they spray everything, even if they're fixed. They scratch things, scratch furniture, you know. I think they're, they usually bond with like one person and then they kind of get, you know, possessive of that person. So they're just not good pets. They're mm. supposed to be wild animals in Africa, not in your house. I mean, most people get mad at a dog if they pee on the floor. Can you imagine if you've got to rip out drywall because... <laughs> The cat's urine is so strong. So. They're beautiful, but they should stay in the wild. Cricket's former owner fed her broccoli. Um, vegetarian diet? Yeah. Vegan diet? Yeah. Trying to say that she preferred uh, vegetables over meat. Cats are obligate carnivores and they need me to survive. Um, obviously we know not all vegetarians or vegans would do something like that, but this person thought it would be a smart idea to have a pet as a serval, so. But unfortunately now she's got, her tail's a little curly cue. She's on medicine for aches and pains. going to give her the, the best home she can have at this point. That's right. We're going to give her all the sickles she doesn't want to eat. <laughs> but again, that's her choice. Exactly. So because there might be a day that she wants a sickle, so we will always offer them to her. And then it's up to her whether she wants it or not. Oh, guess who's enjoying a lazy afternoon? She's got the right idea. Yep. And thank you to anybody who's donating. We actually can't see right now it, you know, when donations are going through. So I apologize about that, but thank you. You're providing the coolaroos for the cats and the awesome food and all the enrichments. So 
We couldn't do this without you guys, so thank you. All right. All right, girl. All right, so we're looking, our next cat is gonna be Ginger. All right, Whoop. she is walking towards the back of her enclosure. Hi. I was trying to work it that way. I was zoomed out. That way I'm not making everybody sick as we're walking. I got a meow instead of a hiss. That's a first. That came from her? Yeah. Oh, wow. Surprising. Look at this. She's running away. Well, not running. Oh, my gosh. No, you're not. You're just being adorable. Oh. oh. Stop it. But don't really. I mean... Marcy, thank you. You said she just said she made it to sponsor 35 cats last year and she's hoping oh, to do wow. the same thing. Thank That's you. Awesome. We appreciate that. The cats definitely appreciate that. For sure. Oh my gosh. Ginge. And Ginger is one of the Gilligan's Island crew that came together. Her, Lovey, Marianne. I'm forgetting people. I mean, cats, <laughs> not people. <laughs> we call we call them people, by right. the way. But um, yeah, Skipper, obviously Skipper Gilligan. Gilligan. Wow. Yeah, those are the obvious <laughs> ones, but I totally forgot. <laughs> she was only giving you the ones that you might not remember. <laughs> oh, cover your eyes, people. <laughs> this needs an explicit. Uh, rating on this video. Ginger, you got to warn us. Somebody just said, I'm going to start calling her gingerbread. <laughs> I, I love that. That's so cute. Gingerbread. She was laying as a, lo like a, I said ginger loaf this morning when she was laying like a, like how cats lay and look like loaves of bread. Missed opportunity, Kristen. Man. Yeah. You could have said the funny thing. Ginger, yeah. I'm not always funny. <laughs> Just most of the time. All right. 95%. <laughs> I'd agree with that. All right. So let's go over and see. Someone just wrote, not safe for work, Ginger. <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> Ginger bits. <laughs> She's like, are you running away from us? Kind of. I thought she was going to come. I thought she went in the den. She was going to come out, but I guess she is not interested in being on camera. <laughs> no paparazzi. She must be in the den. All right. Well, I mean, it was... Ginger, do you want a bag? I'm trying bag to in, show in there, but it doesn't. Sh oh, she came out the other side. Ginge. All right, well, I'm going to give her some enrichment. She'll come back around and hopefully play with that a little bit later. Bye, Ginger. You were very cute. And everybody loved you. All right. We've got something special for Zucari. Oh, boy. Do you want to switch? I'm 
That's okay, because I'll... Why don't we switch over at Hutch? Uh-oh. Zuccari's like, make a decision. He just hissed at us. So That's the normal serval greeting. Is a nice hiss. What is she going to give you? I'm trying to take this off of Zoom, but... So he's got a pineapple top here and we know Hutch licked or Hutch plucked his, Des ate his. So let's see what Zukari wants to do. Oh. There we go. I'm gonna get a better angle, hopefully. And Zuccari is one of our no paper enrichment cats because he could possibly eat it. So we either give him sickles, we give him pineapple tops, which he loves pineapple. He's actually eating some of the pineapple. <laughs> Now, Zuccari came with Cyrus and Chaos. Um, so he was part of the pet trade. Ooh, look at that. Demolish it. Um, I, I can't imagine having this cat as a pet. Or, no. I mean, you should see him at feeding time. He is all paws, just... Okay wild yeah he's wild different totally different we fed him this morning and his paws were like out reaching i mean he's a lot to say not the type of animal that you would want to cuddle up next to <laughs> no. you know what i'm saying <laughs> no he looks all sweet right now but which is true of most of them when it's feeding time when food is involved they're a different I mean, they're, they get wild and very aggressive. A lot of them. Aww. Look at those teeth. Yeah. Oh, that's a big bite. Jeez. Next time I'm going to have to see if Nala likes pineapple tops. Because it seems like the boy servals we've... They definitely do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be so sticky. Smell good though. Yeah, you're gonna smell great. <laughs> He's ready for summer. This pineapple. Oh, Zucari. Oh, he looks so handsome. <laughs> what are you sniffing for? I think he feels real good now. I made his day. Yeah. 
who's next, Kristen? Ooh, next we're gonna, so we just went up what we call the strip, which is just like one long strip of cats. And we are gonna jump across the street to one of Amanda's favorite cats. Oh my gosh, who could that be? <laughs> hey, do you want me to start doing my supplement? That now? is Hutch Serval. Yes. <laughs> And he's going to get a sickle. He oh. is going to get a sickle. Bye, Zucari. Bye. <laughs> so. Zucari's like, fine, you want to go Woo. touch that bad. So there's Zucari. Uh -oh. One last look. Jumped Don't up on his platform. platform. All right, buddy, we got to keep, keep moving so we can see all the cats. All right, oh, I don't want to hit the, all right. My heart's beating fast. I love this cat. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a cute little face. Well, not little. He's got cute everything. He's a pretty good size boy. Sorry guys, trying to open the gate and do this and you gotta look at the ground for a minute, so. <laughs> we are going to, thank you. Let's see, Hi. where do we think Hutch is? I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess he's over on the side over here. That's what I'm thinking too. All right. Hutch! Let's... So Hutch has a really big enclosure also, like, a bunch of bubbles connected by tunnels. Oh, I see him. Hi. Hi, Hutch. I think she meant to say Mr. Perfect. Well. That was kind of a given. He knows. I told him earlier. I love you. You should go over onto that side because that's where she's at. I mean, I can walk. I'll walk around. Alright. I just wanted to... He's going to kill my heart right now, right? <laughs> no. Let me, I'm going to walk around so you guys can see him. Better. All right. All right. Everybody put up hearts right now if you think Hutch is perfect. <laughs> you better see a ton of hearts. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? It's almost Valentine's Day, bud. We got hearts for Hutch. Lots oh. of hearts. Oh, for I Hutch. love them. Keep them coming. <laughs> hearts for Hutch. Now, I know you guys aren't going to believe this, but Hutch is one of the lowest sponsored cats. I can't believe it myself. Can you, bud? He's like, yeah. no, I'm way too awesome for that. So at the end of January, he was one of the least sponsored. So if anyone's looking to sponsor a cat, this is a cool one to do. Tell him why you're awesome, Hutch. He's like, I mean, look at this face. I like that he's not, he's licking the sickle further away, but he refuses to get <laughs> closer to it. How far is that next stretch? Oh, there, there we, we go. go. <laughs> <sighs> now, Hutch came to us from um, a wildlife center down in florida where uh we had some rehab bobcats come from and he needed a permanent home and luckily we were able to take him and now he's the love of my life <laughs> he was also a former pet but if you've seen this cat's nails 
Yeah. Because <laughs> he likes to reach out of the enclosure as well sometimes. If you put your cleaning bucket a little too close or if he sees that the hose might be able, might be in, within reach, you'll see him stick his little paws outside of the cage and then the claws come out and they're like daggers, right? Right, Hutch? Good sickle. Well, I'm happy to stay here for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> we have a few more cats to see, so we can't. And trust me, guys, I love all the cats. Just sometimes you get bonded to one and or a couple. Yeah. Him and Des seem to be, I don't know, stuck with me. You guys are stuck with me. <gasps> oh, hi. Do you think he got a brain freeze? <laughs> That's what I was wondering. <laughs> gotta take a break. Yeah, you got up off that sickle pretty quick. Look at that face. Just adorable. And back to it. No time for a headache. <laughs> Aww. Your neighbor isn't behind us yet. Where is she? Oh, I oh, see her. <laughs> I see her. She she's, is behind us. She's watching us, waiting. Boop. We're on the move. And you can see this, like, chicken wire stuff. That's because Hatch. the hose comes in between his Hatch. enclosure and Nala's, and we don't want him grabbing the hose, so. You're the love of my life? Oh. Uh, that grass is there all the time. This is gonna melt. He's like that. Oh, he sees Nala. Oh. Do no. you want to see her get a sickle? So that's Hutch, and then Nala is. Well, she's right behind these palms over here. <laughs> Lady. Oh yeah. Uh huh. This is Nala Serval. This is a typical Serval greeting. Very hissy. Ooh. Duh. Right to you. She said thank you. Sorry. Yeah, this is why I didn't want to get too close. You don't now want, he's right. We don't want to make you mad. <laughs> oh, that was a good spot for that sickle. She didn't have to move. Service with a smile, Nala. Nala. You can't see my smile because I got a mask on, but trust me, it's there. <laughs> now Hutch is standing behind you, all <laughs> jealous. Of Nala getting a sickle. As if he didn't just get a sickle. Right. These cats. They know how to guilt trip you. Right. How many cats are left to see? Let's see. We got one, two, three, five. If I'm counting correctly. Making me do math. Yeah. Math on my day off. <laughs> We've got this many. <laughs> oh, she wanted the other side. So all the, all the blood will settle to the bottom of the sickle. So a lot of the cats will flip it over. That way they get the bloody side first.
Can you guys hear Simba in the background? All right, we're gonna keep it moving, Nala. We got, we got a few more cats to see and not a whole lot of time left. And one of Nala's next neighbors is Des Serval, who is our three-legged Serval. He was found that way wandering in Arizona. And now he is here with us. And Amanda's gonna give him a sickle. He loves sickles. Desi, yeah, Desi loves his sickles. Yeah. Very hissy. And even though he has three legs, he is still very quick. He always flips his over. Yep. And sometimes he will even pick it up and move it into the middle of the enclosure. Des is another one of my favorites and I'm uh, I would always see him coming over and uh, looking at Mama Becky anytime she's in the area. And that's because she told me, constantly bribe him with sickles and he'll start paying attention to you. So I've been trying to do that. He pays a little more attention. I'm not sure as much as Mama Becky, but. Hi, buddy. <laughs> the way to your heart is through frozen treats. Mm -hmm. Or pineapples. Right. <laughs> you guys saw him enjoy his pineapple on our... That was our first live, first right? First one, yeah. Yeah. He is also very aggressive at feeding time. Actually, him, Nala, I mean, most, most of the cats are, but some of them more than others. Uh, they're, and they're both... Him and Nala are both little... Like vacuum cleaners, they eat. We were joking around this morning so that it's like the hot dog eating competition when you watch the two of them <laughs> because they don't take a breath. He's licking that as hard as he can. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to make a hole in the center of it. You're so handsome, Tess. Yeah, I saw, I think somebody asked what his history is. We don't really know what happened, like how he lost his leg. He was just found wandering in... Arizona like that or assuming he was someone's a pet that was just I don't, I'm guessing I don't know if they let him go or what happened um, they do know he received some type of te uh, vet care though because he was um, fixed so when he first came here everybody thought that he was a she because I guess the first vets to look at him said, oh, must be a girl. But right. they found out that it was because he was fixed. Yeah, his name, when he first got here, his name was Desiree, which is why I saw a couple people post the link to his story, which his name is still on there as Desiree, I guess. But he's now Des since we know he's a boy. All right, buddy. It doesn't really matter, boy or girl. You're just straight awesome. Well, yeah. Enjoy that sickle. We're gonna see a few more cats. Which way should we go? I'm gonna do wanted... these two real quick and then end with. Ooh, yeah. End with the the Valentine couple. That's a smart idea. <laughs> All right, so we got, next up is Diablo, who is a hybrid. Uh, we gotta find him. 
Diablo. And next door to him, Beecher recently moved back here. So we'll show Beecher real quick. I know you guys saw him on our last live. Because he was in front, but now he... Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. No cameras. But now he's back here. Now him and Diablo are getting to be best buddies. So this is Diablo. Wow. That's Beecher. <laughs> Uh, right. Oh, Diablo went. Where'd you go, bud? Didi. Beach. <laughs> oh. I'm going to move over to where he is. And see, hopefully he won't move away. Oh, he's moving away. Let's. Not the most camera friendly. We're going to look at Beecher because. Beach, you want to spice that? Beecher? Now you're going to ignore us? Beecher. I'm glad you're still on here, Bree. Oh, Diablo's getting his bag. Oh. Let's go back over to Dee Dee. You just gotta stay back. <laughs> but Diablo does love enrichment. I'm trying to inch up slowly. That way he doesn't notice. Diablo is another one who's really, really good with uh, enrichment. He loves it. <laughs> and it seems like Diablo's happy that he's got a new neighbor. Diablo seems to love all his neighbors. I think you are hearing a good Beecher report today. He seems like he likes this enclosure. He's got a ton of room. They both were talking to each other earlier. I so, when I, we were feeding them, there's Diablo. We were them. And then Beecher is right over there. So. <laughs> They're both very talkative, perhaps. <laughs> yeah. I put your bag over here. You walked away from it. Later. Diablo does have the sweetest face. Cute. Not if you're a squirrel, though. <laughs> All right. Beecher, everybody wants to see you. It doesn't seem like Diablo... Diablo doesn't seem like he's missing... Olivia necessarily only because I've seen him hanging out near Beecher. He seems to love any cat that's next to him. I mean, I don't know if he has preferences. He's probably like this one's a lot more noisy than the last one. <laughs> Kristen and I were wondering how um, how some of the tigers around this area feel as far as like He's right across the street from Kimba. We're wondering if Beecher is uh, driving Kimba crazy with all his yelling. Handsome. So what do we want to give to Beecher? I, I tossed him a spice bag. Although I think he was oh, that's right. I think he'll tear it up later because I pulled out when I was cleaning earlier. I pulled out an old bag that was ripped up to shreds. So he does like enrichment. He just doesn't always play with it while we're around. 
which is fine. He'll enjoy it later. For now, we're gonna eat some grass. Or go under the platform. Okay then. <laughs> All right. We're going to go and finish up with one of our, well, our loving couple, Max and Marianne. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure Max is going to be getting a spice bag. Yeah, they both will. Max is so fun to watch with enrichment. He seems to love everything. Oh. Simma Tiger saying hello. Hi, Sim. Are you going to take us to Max? Yes? No? Maybe? Just like, find him yourselves. Max! <laughs> oh, I see him. He's coming over this way. Oh, good. Good. Now we can give out simultaneous spice bags. Spice bags. Marianne, come back. Hi. Ready? All right. Marianne could care less about her spice bags, so we will focus on Max for right now until she decides to come over and pee on him or something like that. Oh. Max loves his enrichment. Oh. I'm trying to sit where I can see your cute little face. I couldn't say who said bye, but bye. We hope to see you in two weeks. Oh. Normally when Max is doing this, Marianne comes over and sprays him. <laughs> But she's like in a different section now. Maybe she doesn't have to pee. Maybe. <laughs> I couldn't see whose name that was, but somebody asked if he's fluffier than Shiloh. To me, Max looks bigger. Yeah, I think so too. They're pretty. Those two are probably the closest in size, but I feel like Max is, especially in the winter, he looks fluffier. He looks like Gilligan size. Yeah. Max is a big boy. Oh, that belly. He likes the fluffy bobcats. Thanks for watching, Deborah. And Marianne is probably like, 
half his size. But she runs the show here. That's right. She's coming. She heard us talking about He's it. like a big body pillow for her. <laughs> Happens. Turns out she did have to pee. <laughs> and we don't always catch her playing with enrichment, but I did see her. She got a, I guess they both got a big Valentine's Day enrichment the other day. And I saw her earlier just like rubbing all on it. So she does enjoy enrichment, just not always when we're around. Oh, look. There we go. She, she got her own, too. Yeah. But his, obviously, is better. Yeah, when there's multiple cats, we, we give them both enrichment so they don't fight over it. But as you can see, they're, they're both enjoying the same bag. There is another one over there that nobody's touched yet. Laura just said a double whammy of cuteness. Totally. Oh, God. That is so cute. <laughs> good way to end this live guys yeah adorable oh my goodness this is hard to <laughs> this is hard to leave this thanks again to everybody who donated anyone that sponsors cats everybody that's watching and sharing we appreciate you all. So do the cats. Absolutely. Um, also, over, we will see you guys in two weeks. But before that, please, please, please call up and support the Big Cat Public Safety Act. Again, text CATS to 52886 and um, enter in your information. Hit star to go to your next representative. Like I said, it takes less than five minutes to do. And it's a free way that you can help the cats. And trust me, it's very important to them. They don't want to be stuck in cages. I feel like we're going to miss something cute if we shut this down too quick. <laughs> We might be a little over on time today, but I'm sure you yeah. guys don't mind. <laughs> this is to make up for the cats that didn't want to play with their stuff two weeks ago. There is a clubhouse tonight. We were just talking yes. to um, Matt. Matt Russick. So he is going to be on clubhouse. Matt and Jen. And Jen. are both on at 6 o'clock tonight. Clubhouse. Ask them all your burning questions. They both have volunteered here for a long time, 20-something years, I think. Awesome. Guys, again, thank you so much. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Catterday. Happy Catterday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, everyone. And uh, in two weeks, it will be Afton and myself, Amanda, going around. And we are going to be doing the interior section. And uh, don't get used to all the cats on the center section because we all know that's changing. <laughs> so thank you. Bye, MJ. Bye, Bree. Bye, Mom, if you're still watching. Uh, bye, bye everybody. <laughs> bye, everybody. So we'll see you in two weeks.